Welcome back to The Lemon Factor. I'm Chad, and today I'm here with one of our project cars, this 2003 Lexus IS300 Sport Cross. And as some of you are aware, we've been doing a lot of maintenance on this car, getting it ready to put on a turbo, to tune a turbo, to make this thing a lot faster and a lot more fun. And recently, I've upgraded the spark plugs, the wires, and the coil packs. I found a lot of oil in the galley in between the two valves, the intake valve and the exhaust valve. And in replacing the spark plugs, three out of the six spark plugs had a lot of oil on them. But in today's video, I am going to go through how to replace the valve cover gaskets. It shouldn't be difficult, especially considering I already have the throttle body assembly removed. So that's the hardest part is removing that to get access to your valve covers. And if you're curious how to remove that, if you want to find out detailed step-by-step instructions, I did publish a video a couple weeks ago on that. I'll leave a link in the description below. So if you're interested in finding out how to replace your valve cover gaskets on a 2JZ GE engine, then stay tuned. <laughs> First thing you need to do is remove the throttle body assembly, which as you can see is already done. As I Removing the 10 millimeter bolt holding this harness at the top, this snapped off. Two out of our three coil packs, wire clips have snapped. This one's a good one, so this didn't break, but you could see it broke on the top here and at the bottom. And then simply lifting this up, it snapped from this harness here, which this by itself isn't a big deal, but I will need to replace these wire clips. Exhaust valve cover on this side, you can see the exhaust in the intake valve cover on this side, there are eight bolts, nuts and bolts attaching each one of these. I believe it's six bolts and two nuts, uh, 10 millimeter. We'll go around, we'll disconnect and do one at a time. So I'd like to take the opportunity to let you know that we have some new merch on our Etsy store. I'll leave the link in the description below. Go take a look. We have several new designs. Here is the gasket. I'm just looking to see if there's any slits that would give away where the uh, oil is leaking through. And I don't see any, but we'll remove this. We'll pull this out. What we don't want to do is get this dirty here. So um, I'm going to be careful, remove this, but I'm going to clean this. I'm using a uh, coffee filter and a little brake clean, but we want to make sure that the surface that we put the new gasket into is as clean as possible. This took me a while. A lot of cleaning in those valleys where the gasket goes. Right. Here's our gasket. You know you're using the right one. This is a half moon, so that'll go down in there. This side is straight. This has the curves for this, all set. 
So we'll just carefully start with one corner and start placing that in. You have to clean all of this mating surface where the gasket is going to lie. And just like the valve cover itself, this took some time. This took a lot of effort to clean this off. And the hardest part to get to is down here where that half moon is in those corners. So most difficult part, but most important part is to try to get in there. Because next we're going to add little dabs of RTV right in those corners. This RTV calls for a cure of about an hour before you torque things down. So I am going to loosely hand tighten them. And in an hour, I'll come back and I'll tighten them to the torque spec of, I believe it's six or seven foot pounds. So not tight at all, but there's a certain pattern. You wanna tighten them in crisscross and starting from the middle of the valve cover. Don't be afraid to do it. It's dirty work, it's a little time consuming, but it's a lot cheaper than having the dealer do it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell so that you're made aware of future videos. With that said, we're done for today. Thank you very much for joining.